Dennis Miller. I'm an Amador County Master Gardener. Uh, I have a five and a half acre uh, property here. I have 26 fruit trees. Uh, I've got uh, raised bed gardens. I've got uh, five 24 foot raised beds and I've got uh, 18 50 gallon half drums uh, all under per permanent irrigation for, for my gardening. Uh, one of the things that's really important, I think, is uh, one is to keep your trees short like this. You don't have to use a, a ladder to go up and, and uh, prune. Also, it allows you to do your stuff like your dormant sprays and, and they're pruning a lot easier. Uh, another thing is you need deer fencing. And deer fencing is, a, is mandatory uh, if, if you want to have uh, an orchard like this because deer can work these over really easy. We have a deer fence, but it is it's a graduated size as far as the, the fence on the lower side keeps uh, your uh, rabbits out and it graduates up to a larger size. If you're only working with an orchard only, not a raised bed, but just an orchard, you can get away with having this as your fence. I use a six foot wire fence, 10 foot T post, two strands of bob wire. I've never had a deer go through this. They will jump six feet, I know that. But this gives me six plus an extra foot, foot and a half of uh, barbed wire. They don't, they don't go through this at all. Okay. This is a Gravenstein apple tree. It's grafted to M111 rootstock. Uh, I did this back in uh, 2015. It's five years old. Uh, it was M111 rootstock, and it's got it's a Gravenstein apple. And I probably thinned at least two to three hundred apples off of this about a month ago. So that's what's growing. This tree, if you can notice, I keep it short purposely. This this is an M111, which is a semi, uh, it's actually a semi dwarf, which would go up probably 20, 25 feet tall if you didn't keep pruning back. But I'm keeping this short purposely. This is what it looked like originally. This is a M111, I, or I, the graft is, I grafted on the Empire, or the um, Gravenstein, and that's just what it looked like, and this is five years later. One nice thing about this is that you have a tree that's short enough, you don't need a ladder. When you do your dormant spray, you're going to use a lot less spray. Uh, you can hand pick. A lot of pluses for a backyard gardener, this is the ideal way of doing it. Hey, this is a, uh, it's a, a pear tree, pear, pear, and this is why I normally prune this off right here. So it's about six feet, that's where I cut it off. That's all new growth. This is about two feet of new growth. <clears throat> we got our pears in here, but they're Bartlett. I said Bart, Bartlett. The thing is, I want to put bird netting on this because the birds will get into it. So I'm going to take and cut this off right back where I pruned it last year. By flattening it off, it will allow me to put bird netting on it without hanging it up. do this all the way across the top that will allow me to burden it and you go on it easily you do need some shade for these this fruit if you take and expose the fruit to full sun they'll, they'll they won't hold up but that's about off just about an inch higher than what it was taken off last year again this is a, a, a plum tree and again this is a, this is probably about 10 years old and you notice it's just armpit tall and it's got lots of fruit on it. And I've, again, it's been several, two or three hundred pieces of fruit I took off of it a month ago. So this is ripening up really quick. This is a plum tree. And again, it's a standard size plum tree. It's not a, not a semi-dwarf. And you look at the fruit in here and I've uh, thinned hundreds of pieces of fruit out of this about a month, month and a half ago. 
This is probably about three weeks from being ready to pick. The uh, Flavor King Pluot. It gives a red Pluot. It gives a seed that's very small in the center. Lots of fruit on the outside. Excellent uh, for canning or just eating. Uh, and again, this is at this height right now. We're probably just a little higher than my shoulder. And this this is probably about 10 years old. Yeah, I think the important thing to realize as a home gardener or a home orchardist is if you keep your trees at a height that you can manage. This is this one here is about shoulder high, but at least normally I cut them off no taller than six feet tall. Keep them cut back every year at six feet tall. It makes it easier for you to do your maintenance on it. You can do your, your uh, pruning. You can do your garment spray. You're going to have more fruit than you know what to do with as a home gardener, a home orchard. This is, I mean, there's probably well over 100 pounds of fruit on this little tree right here right now. And how much fruit do you really need as a home orchardist? Yeah, and the other thing is you don't have to climb a ladder. If you take this same tree, which is a standard sized tree, and it's 35 feet tall, even on an 18 foot ladder, you're still not getting to the top. And when you get to be my age at 79, uh, you don't need to be on the the top of an 18 foot ladder reaching for fruit. Okay, this, uh, we're going to be putting bird netting on this. These are not ripe yet, but if I leave them any longer, the birds will be getting them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to cut the top of this off shorter, just so it's even, and then we'll put the net over top of it. Put the netting down here and it'll be fairly flush. Now we've placed the bird netting. You see it flattened it out pretty good. And I'll get the birds out. And what I'll do is I will eventually take and pull this back in all the way to the trunk and tie it up with the trunk. That keeps rats, foxes, things like that from going up into the tree. Otherwise, they will. I've, many times I come out here and I see foxes in the trees eating food. So. It needs to be tied off right back against the trunk. Okay, this plum tree is ripe. We just took the netting off of it. And it's like a, a golf ball uh, carrier that you get from, the, from your golf club and put a hook on it. And we just hang it like that. And now you can just take and pick, 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 and drop them right back in the bucket. So here we picked the, the fruit. There wasn't a big, uh, a large crop of fruit for this particular uh, tree this year. We had hail and lost a, a lot of the uh, blossoms on it. But there we got this fruit picked and you will show you what it looks like and you go, mm. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Really sweet and juicy. Mm -hmm.